In this question, we have a teacher who's recording the amount of time it takes to solve a Rubik's Cube. Now, the algorithm must ask the user to input the number of attempts, but because we're calculating the total time by the end and average, we need to create a variable called total and we need to set it to zero. Then we can ask the user for the number of attempts. So we create a variable called attempts, we use integer and then input to ask the question. It's going to be an integer because it's a whole number. And then how many inputs? And we close the double parentheses. Then we need to create a for loop because we're calculating the average and the total amount of time. So they're going to have multiple attempts and we need to know how long it took for each attempt. So we need to create a for loop so for x in range and the range is going to be attempts. It's going to loop depending on how many times, the, how many goes that uh, the user had. Then it says, ask the user how long it took. So we can create a variable called time. And then we set it to integer again, because that's going to be a whole number. And then we ask them how long did it take in seconds to solve it. Then we need to add the total. Well, add that time to the total. So the total will start with zero. And then we add, we create, so we, we can use the same variable total. And then we set total plus time. So zero plus the time. And then when it goes to the second time, the second loop, the total will be different. So it will keep adding it on top of the original total. This will give us the overall time, total time of how long it took to solve it out of all of the attempts. Then to calculate the average, we create a variable called average, and then we divide the total by the attempts. So total by the attempts, this will give us the average time it took for one attempt. Then all we need to do is display it on the screen. So we use a simple print command and we put the total time is total. So we put it in a full sentence to make sure we know what the total is and also what the average is. And then we do the same for the average. Print command to display it on the screen and then the average time is average.